Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial. This time taking a look at the consolidation tool, which is actually really effective for archiving your Final Cut Pro projects. So while it's useful to create backups, that's not the same thing as archiving. When you are done with a project where you literally have nothing more to do to it, you want to store it on an external drive that you're not going to have regularly connected to your computer. This means you can free up space on your active drives, the, drive you, the drives you use most regularly, and just keep it there in case your client or if it's your own project, just out of your own personal interest, you want to go back through and access all the original media and all of the original timelines. So Final Cut Pro now offers a really cool way for you to create essentially a single source of everything. That's all your backed up, um, sorry, that's all your original media you've used, so all your sound effects, all of your clips, all your video, your audio foot files, even all of um, your music and also your render files. So this is uh, rendered effects such as uh, titles over text and stuff because every time you create a title Final Cut actually creates a, a preview file of what that title looks like over the footage you've applied the text over so even if you put it over black it still has to create a video file so that it can play it back more effectively like this um, text file here like so so how do we go about consolidating our media. Now if you followed my tutorial on how to manage all of your media effectively using libraries, events and projects then this is going to be really straightforward for you. What I basically said was that every film you make needs its own library. So going by that assumption that you have your own library and I will put a link to my tutorial in the description below select your library from the event manager or the library ma manager I should say and then select the inspector button here and then you can see we've got this button that says consolidate if we just click that it's going to tell you what it's going to do it says consolidate library files original media will be consolidated into the library so even if all your media is stored on separate drives which mine is even if all your music that you've used in your project is stored in iTunes no matter where all your files are Final Cut will go and grab all of the original media that you've used and store it into the library. So that's going to obviously beef up the file size of your library because it's going to make copies of every file you've used and it's going to put them in one place on whichever drive that your library is stored in. It also gives you two options. It gives you the options to include optimized media and proxy media. Now this isn't necessary per se, but what it means is if you want to go back and access these files, it's going to have to recreate these files. But if you are tight for space on your archive drives, then you can go ahead and uncheck these and it can recreate this stuff. So optimized media is when it takes a video file that it's not particularly happy to work with and it will create a new copy of that video file in a more easily playable and more efficiently playable clip. Proxy media is downsized media, so it might create um, low res versions of your video files so it can more efficiently play back. Now this Final Cut does this in the background even if it doesn't necessarily tell you and there obviously there are ways to access this which I have gone through in previous tutorials but you now have the choice to not have them in your library fi folder so that you can back up and use up less space. So if we were to click OK, it would go ahead, it would start operating, and it would copy everything to the library. Then, in order to access this timeline again, this whole project, all you'd need to do is open up that library file. You can just right click and choose Open with Final Cut, and then even from your archive drive, you can access everything. You don't need to relink anything because everything will be stored within the library and Final Cut know, will know where everything is. Everything will be relative to the project file because it's all contained within the library. So hopefully this was useful. Hopefully this has given you a um, idea of the best way to archive your media and also to conserve space on your archive drives. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.